Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the Star Wars Vintage Collection line of products. I picked this up at Walmart for $4 during a clearance sale earlier this year. Now, it's been a few years since I last bought an Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. The last one I got was back in 2005 when the Revenge of the Sith line was still being produced. I've seen several versions of Obi-Wan Kenobi since then, but I never got around to getting a Phantom Menace version of him, so I bought this one when I saw it. Now, when I first got the figure out of the blister pack, I was moderately pleased with the figure. Right away, I noticed that there was a huge paint smudge on his forehead, which is a bit distracting. Facially, um, this figure really does not resemble Ewan McGregor, unlike the last Obi-Wan figure that I purchased back in 2005. Now, the joints on this figure were a bit on the stiff side when I first got him out of the package. Um, after some work, they all seemed to function very nicely. Now, as was the case with the Anakin Skywalker figure that I previously reviewed, I was a bit concerned that his legs wouldn't pose well due to his costume. I was pleased to discover that the waist area of his costume is made with a combination of a soft plastic and cloth, and that does not seem to impede the hip joints whatsoever. So what I'll do here is pause, zoom in, and give you a closer look as to what the figure looks like. Okay. All right, Obi-Wan Kenobi came with three accessories, so let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what those are. The figure stand that you see him standing on was not included in the package. Okay, first up, he came with his lightsaber. Uh, this looks to be fairly movie accurate, but I found myself wishing once again that they had included a deactivated lightsaber hilt to be pegged uh, onto, onto uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's waist. Okay, next up, he came with his communicator, and again, uh, this looks to be fairly movie accurate as to how it was shown in The Phantom Menace. Okay, and finally, he came uh, with his cloak. This is made from a cloth-like material, as you can see, and um, I'll, I'll be honest, it, it, it looks to be a, a bit oversized. However, it is easily removable off of the figure. All right, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of Obi-Wan Kenobi and let you see what he looks like from all sides. Okay. So overall, I still have mixed feelings about this figure. Uh, I think it's good to have a Padawan version of Obi-Wan Kenobi in my Star Wars collection, but there are some issues regarding paint apps on the figure, and the joints were a bit of a problem, but that was easily fixed. The figure's cloak is a bit oversized in my opinion, but I felt that it was good that Hasbro chose to include it. So therefore, I'm just going to go on ahead and give this figure a good but not great recommendation. Uh, this will work for a diorama with Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn, but I, I don't see uh, much other uh, usage for it beyond that. All right, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.